Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Resell to Rome. If you are new to the channel, I'm April and I'm part of Resell to Rome with my husband, Nick. And we um, buy things low and we try to sell them high. And we flip some furniture pieces and um, yeah, we just try a little bit, make a little bit of money to help us with our travels and to pay for our kids school and all the extra little things that we need and want to do. So anyway, I thought I would uh, run another vlog style video today. It is morning where I am and I have dropped the kids off at school. I have come out here to our bin store called the Lynchburg Treasure Hunt and it's $2 a day so I'm going to go in there and see what I can find. Um, but before that, I did want to tell you guys about some new, uh, like a new process that I'm starting. Um, thanks to watching Joshua Becker and his um, videos on minimalism, I have tried waking up earlier and becoming a morning person. And for me, that's um, not something I could ever become because I love my sleep. But I really wanted to have more time to get some stuff done in the day. I've also been watching Daily Refinement and uh, he has really been helping me to focus on getting at least 10 listings complete a day and really focus on that consistency. So how it all ties together is I've been waking up at around 5.30, which is about an hour or so earlier than I used to wake up to get the boys ready for school in the morning. And um, in that extra hour, I am photographing and listing 10 items a day. So the amazingly awesome thing is I have my listings finished for the day by 6 30 6 50 in the morning and then i can start my day of waking my boys up getting them ready for school taking them to school and then i come back home or do my thrifting sourcing whatever else i need to do for the day and just having that extra hour to an hour and a half in the morning has made such a difference i really feel like i have so much more time left after dropping the kids off at school to um, get work done get a house cleaning done to get whatever else is on my project done. So anyway, that I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's been something that's been really helpful and I'm excited to keep up. I've been doing it for about a week now and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. So let's head off into the treasure hunt and uh, see if we can find any $2 finds to flip on eBay. Okay, you guys, I am out of the store, spent about an hour in there, and I'm gonna show you a few of the finds that I got today. I think I did pretty good. Every item I'm gonna show you is just $2. That's what I spent on it. I got about 12 items, I think she said, or 14. I spent about $28 on these items, and I will throw some comps up for each item as we go. I can't remember what they each comped for, but I did run comps when I was looking at them and um, checked each one out um, before I purchased. So let me show you what I've got. I have um, picked up this Grove dish soap dispenser. And if you guys don't know, Grove um, is like a subscription-based health and beauty company and their stuff is not cheap. So I got this one. I like to pick up when I'm in the bin store these baggies of um, little health and beauty products. A lot of times just one item in this uh, bag will cover the price of the bag, which today, you know, I said was $2. And then the rest is just profit. So I got this one bag here. And I've got this bag. This bag, the... the, um, the 
product <laughs> the product that I uh, picked this bag up was for this lumber yard and it has two of these beard oil lumber yards in there they should sell pretty good I also picked up the Rolls Blueberry Bis. It's a, um, some sort of cream. I think it's a hair cream. This bag had three of these. They're really hard to see, but I'll throw the comp up. You'll be able to see it better. Um, Maestro's, I want to say it's some sort of, it's either a body butter or a beard butter. That's what it is. It's a beard butter. And there's three in here. And these actually sell really good. I can't wait to show you this comp. This whole bag for three was two dollars total. This is another one that I'm pretty excited about. It says hair regrowth treatment for men. That should sell pretty good. I also picked up two of these Glade air freshener packets and um, these the comps looked really good like more solds than uh, listed so that was good. I'll probably I've got two of them. I'll bundle them together in a listing also picked up this um, HEPA replacement filter and these this was another really good find passed by several of them and I comped them um, about halfway through the store and realized that they would sell pretty good so like three of these are selling online right now for about twenty dollars and they're shipping on top of that I believe and I've got a pack of five so this whole bag was two dollars I also picked up, oh, what's it called? Shaving cream. It's a shaving cream. And this little car's um, uh, die cast. It's a metal car. And, you know, this isn't like a super, it's not going to get me tons of money or dollars, but it'll bring me at least 6 to $7 profit. And I figure, you know, while I'm already in the store, I'm picking up other stuff. And, you know, might as well just add the profit on top of each other. So I'm in there. I'm finding stuff. The comps are really good. Like there's more solds to listed. So if I can make an easy five or six dollars extra while I'm in the store picking up other stuff, uh, you know, it's got to be a win. So it's time to go to the Goodwill. That's my last stop before I head home. And I'll take you into the Goodwill briefly and show you what I got. Come along and let's have some more fun thrifting and finding um, discounted items to sell for more money.
these are in excellent condition. I'm finding the mother load of shoes today. So what did you guys think of those Goodwill finds? I was so excited when I came across some of those shoes. Those Sorrells, oh my goodness. Um, those, when I found those boots, I was just like, whoa. And then it was like I kept finding shoe after shoe after shoe that was just like an amazing shoe, at least I thought. And hopefully we can sell for some good money and sell pretty quickly. I've had really good luck with Sorrells in the past. So super excited about that find. I did want to update you guys. You know, I tried to keep track in the Goodwill and show you all the shoes that I picked up. Unfortunately, when I got up to the counter, she started looking at the bottom of the shoe and there were, I knew there were numbers written on the bottom of some of the shoes, but I thought the shoes had just come from somebody else that had tried to sell them and it didn't work out. But my Goodwill is now um, pricing their shoes a little differently. They're not all a flat fee uh, right now. Our shoes are usually $4.99, I believe. Um, and they're also not keeping them on a separate rack. So it used to be at my Goodwill, the special shoes would um, be in a different rack and in a different section, and they'd have a price tag on them with a higher price. And all the other shoes were just the typical like $4.99 flat fee. Well, now my Goodwill has like inserted the special shoes in with the regular shoes, and they're not tagging them anymore. They are writing on the bottom of the shoe a price. So three of the pairs of shoes I picked up had another price on them, and they had a price on the bottom. It was the pair of blue Merrells and um, the Danskos, the really nice Danskos that I picked up. They went at like $14.99 for those Danskos and $8.99 for the Merrells, so I passed on those two. She... <laughs> I had to question her about the Sorrells because on the bottom of those, they were marked $74.99. I don't know if I showed that in the earlier clip or not, but they were marked $74.99. And I asked her, I was like, are these also the price that's on the bottom? Because I, I, I was trying to get them cheaper. And she looked at the bottom and she's like, oh no, that must be a mistake. So she gave those to me for about $4.59 or no. $5.99, I don't know, something like that, five or six dollars. So I was really excited that, um, again, I was able to pick those up. Um, I'll try to throw some comps up if I haven't already to show you what they'll resell for. But yeah, I, I had to put two of the pairs of shoes back, which, you know, is fine. I think I got a ton of pair of shoes and boots. So it all worked out pretty well. Um, I will either put those comps up here or I've already showed them to you. I'm not sure. But now I am back home and I just kind of wanted to give you guys, well, first I'm going to, um, well, I'll give you guys a little tour of my office since Nick and I just recently redid it and kind of tried to move some things around. And then I have a rug that I sold on Facebook Marketplace that I am going to ship out. Um, I purchased the rug for $20 through an estate sale. And yeah, and um, I sold it on Facebook Marketplace for $65 and I'm going to ship that out. So I'm pretty excited about that little profit. Um, so here, here, let me flip you around and I will give you a little office tour and show you what we've done. 
All right, so this is what the office kind of looks like as you come in to it. Um, we've got my desk all set up here, and um, we've tried to like clean it out. There used to be a shelf over here, and if you've watched one of my past videos, I did a little office tour, and you'll see the shelf, but um, this weekend, we went ahead. I took the shelf out, and... Um, we decided to hang pictures. So, you know, I have a booth, an antique booth, and I've been collecting a lot of pictures for it. And they had just been kind of piling up in the floor, like right there where those two smaller ones were. And I really wanted to get them organized in a space so where they could, um, you know, they could hang nicely, at least until I took them to the booth. So what we've done is just put a bunch of like nails and whatnot around. And now my pictures can hang on the walls while they wait to go to the booth. Let me show you this side, try not to spin you too fast, but I've got some over here as well um, for pictures and mirrors and whatnot. So yeah, that's how we decide to deal with the storage of the pictures until they can get to the booth. They are hanging on the wall and there's still some space um, up top and around that we could fill in if we need to. I also um, have this hanging rack here for the clothes that are getting ready to be listed. I just reorganized all of that. It used to be a jumbled mess, but I've pared it down and promised myself that only clothes that are going to be listed are going to come up here. Um, let me show you. This is like the desk area, computer. We have our little setup um, over here for the ring light and the phone or GoPro holder for when Nick does some live feeds. And then on this side, I have my um, photography table set up. So basically what I do is point the light that way and take pictures of whatever I need to take pictures of, what I'm gonna list for the day. And underneath is where I store the items that are up next to be listed. Those are the items that are ready for listing as are these items on this little shelf here. And um, yeah, our goal and our plan is to keep all the items that need to be prepped and processed or cleaned downstairs in one area. And then when they're cleaned and ready, they come upstairs and they go right over here. And then I can just pull them to take pictures right there. So I use the uh, ring light and the natural light that comes through the window to uh, photograph my items. And then I'll show you this crazy closet. So in my closet, we have, um, now it's a mess, you guys. But, um, and it, it's one of the areas that I have not spent as much time organizing, but I have um, put in a shelf in the closet. And then in the closet, I'm trying to keep all my booth items. And that way we kind of have an organized system. Um, eBay and uh, booth items are in separate locations. So that is that. But yeah, that is my office. So let's come over here. I've got this rug. Um, it's an oriental rug and it's fairly small. So fortunately, I'll just have to put that in a poly mailer and I'm gonna ship that off today. I hope you guys have had fun following me around this morning. This is a typical day or two out of the week. I try to source at least a couple times a week. And I try to do it in the morning, right after I drop the boys off at school. It's just easier for me. Plus our Goodwill's open like around nine. The treasure hunt store opens at 10. So I like to be at all of those locations when they're first open. Then I get all my sourcing done for the day. I usually finish up around noon, 1230. And I can come back here, have some lunch. And then I usually focus on whatever needs to be packaged and shipped for the day. And um, then I usually take that stuff that's just been packaged, run it by UPS, the post office or whatnot, right before picking my youngest up from school at three. 
And in the evening, you know, not as much gets done because I do have a five-year-old. But um, if I find that if I can get most of my major tasks taken care of in the morning and before 2, 2.30, then I am good. So thanks a lot for sticking with me today and following me around. Um, I hope you guys have a great week. Take care, and I'll see you next time.